Come along with me to day three of the Cognitive Computational Neuroscience Conference in Amsterdam. I'm not presenting today, so don't have a poster in tow, but do have a cup of trusty English breakfast tea to get me through the morning keynote. It turns out though, I didn't need it because as I walked into the lecture theatre, I don't know if they were trying to pre-game for the social event this evening or just trying to wake us up, but the music choice was immaculate for early on a Wednesday morning. But once the party had been momentarily paused, it was time for a keynote from David Popel on rhythms and algorithms, and then suddenly it clicked of maybe why they were playing music. He kicked off with a reminder about scientific citizenship, which is a really important topic right now of how scientists should contribute to the wider world, and is actually one of the reasons that I started this YouTube channel. After a quick break, we're straight into the next sessions on decision making, which are really interesting, but as I don't drink coffee, I'm relying on Tony's Chocoloni to get me through the sugar boost and my trusty notebook. There was a real variety of talks, including one on modeling social interactions, which started off with Marvel movies, which I thought was really fun. And then it's off to the networking lunch. I headed over and grabbed my little pack lunch, then found a table talking about social policy and engagement. We had some really great discussions on the importance of scientists reaching out of the bubble um, with my little table. Say hi everyone. Then I headed back to the hotel to collapse for a little bit and prepare myself for the hackathon and the social event this evening. I've actually never been to a hackathon before, so this one was on comparing models with the brain or models with each other and I was a little bit nervous. I think I got a lot of stuff wrong, but I also learned a lot and everyone was so lovely and supportive. We then headed out to the social event in the evening on not one but two ferries because we maybe accidentally got on the wrong one the first time. But we did eventually find the venue and had a really great evening of talking to other scientists. And also there was even a really cool immersive exhibit where the lights and the music were dictated by an EEG. But that was it for day three of the conference. So join me again tomorrow for the final day on day four.